Hi again collectors, it's the J-Man with uh, a kit bash project finished something a bit different from the military stuff that I've put together I've uh, kit bashed together my own, uh, well I've classed him as a zombie hunter because there's a lot of zombie films and figures being released this year uh, we've got the damn toys, Nazi zombies coming out, we've got a lot of interesting people putting together and our own figures from The Walking Dead and uh, obviously the big zombie film of the year is The World War Z so uh, there's some spares I'd got and some uh, bits I'd picked up from collectible kit bash I thought uh, we'll put a zombie hunter together and uh, put me on a base so uh, I'll run through what I've used to put this guy together uh, the boots are actually a fantastic pair of boots. There they are, the ACI Toys DM boots, lace-ups. Brilliant uh, copies of Dr. Martin boots, them boots are fantastic. The jeans is from the Magic Cube set that I've got. got some spare jeans on. Uh, the belt is again ACI Toys Harley Davidson belt. They do a few different designs. These are really great belts with the leather strap. It, they are awesome belts. Them. Um, so there's a few different designs for the uh, Harley Davidson. And uh, the gloves are from the, the VTS Dark Soldier set. The shotgun is Hot Toys DX10's T800 shotgun. And we have a black shirt which I've got knocking around as a spare. Same as the coat, the coat's a spare black coat. And the sculpt obviously is based on the Jonah Hex character. That was from a company called BBK, it's their cowboy head that class it has and that's his hat. Uh, really good sculpt on that. Uh, I did a little work just to pick out some of the more details. I uh, done some more detailing on the scar on his face, make it more pronounced and uh, you know make it a little bit more stand out so that was going on. I really, like, I really do like that sculpt a good job on that sculpt and the machete and the zombie head which is just severed off there and the zombie arm come from a firm called Trunk and Head Studios they do a set of a horror set like you get an arm, a head, there's a machete, there's an axe, and a chopper. Uh, it does come as like a severed head, so what I did was I uh, repainted the eyes out on him. Uh, basically just zombified the guy up a little bit more. Same with the arm. They do come pretty good, well detailed as they are, but I just added a bit more to them. And what else have we got? The, I think that pretty much covers the kit. And obviously he's got a, a the, the Dragon 9mm uh, pistol tucked in the his side of his coat in there. Uh, yeah, I think that covered most of the stuff. Most of it was sourced from a side collectible kit bash again. It's a fantastic uh, breakdown of uh, box figs they've got in. And then the base was custom built. Um, everything was sourced from in house. Um, the grass is my, the flock method. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that, but uh, it's basically sawdust, paint, water, the sieve, you know, how to make flocks. It's used a lot on model railways. Uh, war game enthusiasts make it. It does actually work. 
it, and then the small bushes and that are from uh, local hobby store, which are used again on the uh, railway, uh, miniature railway dioramas, and the fencing is uh, plastic mesh sprayed over, and then it was uh, the barbed wire on the tops been homemade. You can find out how to do that on YouTube, it's not that difficult, you know, twisting the wire to make up the barbed wire. And then I just added a little sign, you know, a bit of comedy on it, you know, because all these zombie films, you know, some of them can be quite tongue-in-cheek comedy, so... And then the entire figure was like, sort of like, weathered up. I get him a weathering, I ripped and torn some of the coat, and uh, I'm quite pleased with how he's come out. Like I say, there's a lot of zombie activity going on this year with different uh, companies bringing out. I say, damn toys have got the zombie Nazi soldiers coming out, which do actually look quite awesome. And uh, there's, a, see, there's a lot of interesting people keep bashing and putting together their own walking dead figures um, <clears throat> maybe if I can get my hands on some decent sculpts of those maybe in the future I might have a, a look at those um, but for the minute I just uh, keep bash this guy together the zombie hunter thanks for watching everyone I hope you like it uh, I enjoyed putting him together I really did and uh, the J-Man will be back soon. Catch you later.